Yeah, like this? I think I'm in love with this guy. <laughs> okay! Ooh. Who is who is he? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's good, what's poppin' and welcome to this reaction video. And this is actually gonna be part one to a group that we're reacting to. They have surfaced the scene. I don't know if they're brand new. I don't know if they're just now kind of popping off all over the place, but a lot of my friends have been talking about them. A lot of my friends have told me I need to like listen, see what they're about. So I thought, okay, like I'll react to it obviously because i really do want to see what they're about the little videos like tiktok videos they've been sending me i'm like wait i'm kind of digging it just from little clips so like i want to see the full picture the full story they are a japanese group they are j-pop and y'all know who else is j-pop xg i can only imagine that this group is probably gonna just really hit a good spot for me the group is called psychic fever great name because based off of all my friends and everything that have been raving about this group they've got something in their little pockets that is just causing everyone to really just get sucked in by these boys i'm gonna stop yapping part one which is this one we are going to be reacting to three different music videos and then part two we'll be reacting to two performance videos so let's go ahead and hop right into it we got three music videos we're gonna react to I am going in completely blind, don't know anything about this group, don't know the members, kind of know what some of them look like, but not really. So this is like a full on like clean slate fresh. So let's see, let's see what psychic fever is about. Let's see if I catch the psychic fever. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, wait a second. Hey. Wait, look at that forward. <laughs> Okay. He looks grown. Oh, he's so cute. Ooh, the little beat. <laughs> There's so much to process. Oh shoot, I like that shot, I like this shot right here. Okay, who was he? He came in swinging. Hey. Oh my god, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Who is who is he? Who is he? Because his voice is impeccable. The footwork is crazy. I can see why a lot of people are liking them. They're so like vibey and swaggy, like it's so good. Oh, 
Yes, sir. No, they're too good. They're too smooth with it. Nah. Nah, they're too good. They're mad smooth with it. I know none of the members' names. Whoever old dude was that was doing the vocals for the chorus. Old dude who came in rapping. The performance itself is in, like... I, oh my god, I'm starting to sweat. I loved that. I think the song's great. It gives an old school vibe, which I feel like is something I said when I first discovered XG. Their song is very like old school R&B. Like it has that old school feel to it. And like when I was listening to it, it reminded me of like old school, like Mio, Usher, Chris Brown. Like, I don't know. It kind of had like those vibes to it, to me. So I was really vibing with it and I was really like messing with it. I think it's really, really good. And I can see why there's been a lot of people that are like, yo, this group, this group, this group, this group. Like I can, un I understand the hype. I genuinely do. For the first music video, I am thoroughly surprised and impressed and definitely fallen a little bit into the psychic fever. But we've got two more to go. So we're going to see what these next two have me saying so let's move on to the next one i actually didn't say the title of the last one but the very first one was called just like that this next one that we're about to watch is called baku baku i don't know if that's how you pronounce it that's how it looks like it's supposed to be pronounced forgive me if it's wrong but that's what we're about to react to so let's just see if it causes me to fall deeper into the psychic fever <laughs> let's do it This seems like it's gonna have more of a chill, slow vibe to it. Okay, so got a little bit of upbeat to it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> that dance was crazy. Guys, I think I found my favorite member, and it's definitely him. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh, I like this vibe. Okay, he might also be my favorite. I don't know. He comes in so hard every single time. Hey. This man. I need to I need to know who this one is. Like immediately. I love how it goes into the chorus. Yeah. My heart goes back to back. So I'm expecting it's like they're great dancers based off of what I'm saying. So I can't wait to see the performance videos. I think I'm in love with this guy. <laughs> I need to know how old they are actually. Let me stop saying stuff. They look of age. Uh, he's also a favorite. I don't know. I love his voice. I love that. That's so cute. Oh, 
Oh my god, stop. They're actually so good. And I love that this is a completely different vibe from the last one. God, no, you guys, like, I'm actually, I, like, actually, I'm starting to, like, really love them. I love that this one was, like, completely different from the first one, because I feel like that shows duality, obviously, and I feel like it shows that they can do a beat, they can do calmer, you know, and so I think what I also love is I feel like they both give the same vibe because I've feel like they both are very like old school R&B but they have those beats in there that make it a little bit more upbeat so the first one I feel like is still very like old school R&B but it's got like a nice little touch of hip-hop in it that makes it more upbeat and this one is like old school just like R&B with just the slightest beat to almost make it pop but it has that overwhelming feeling of R&B does that make sense like I feel like their main sound is like R&B but they put a little bit of hint of other beats and instruments and things like that to to kind of like slowly turn it into like hip-hop or pop or you know whatever but there's always that underlying tone of R&B and I think that's why I'm really enjoying it because R&B is probably like my favorite genre of music. Like R&B is like number one for me. I love R&B music. So for them to kind of always have that underlying R&B feel with just like a couple of things that make it more pop or make it more hip hop, but there's always that underlying R&B sound. I think that's what's making me really, really enjoy it. I'm going to rank them obviously at the end because we got one more, but like I said, I thoroughly enjoy that this one is different from the first one, but they're both so good. So I'm excited to see what this third one brings because it's. I feel like it's either going to be a mix of the two or it's going to be the same as one of the two, you know? So... Let's see this third and last one for part one of this reaction. The title of the song is called Choose One. I'm excited. I am just kind of curious as to the sound it's going to have, whether it's going to be similar to the first one, the second one, or like a mix of both. So let's see what it's talking about. Oh, this one's got like a storyline to it. Okay. I like a good storyline. Oh wait, 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 this one might oh, this one might be my favorite. Oh, this one might be my favorite out of the three. Oh my god, wait, I love this sound. And I think it's a mix of the two, the way it sounds to me. Ooh. Also, their outfits have been on, on point every single music video. I love him. His voice is so good. <laughs> I think I love him. I, the guy in the middle. I hope he's of age for me saying that. Yeah, no, this one, I think this one's gonna be my favorite. Okay. Yeah, this chorus is crazy. Again though, it's got that under underlying R&B sound. 
but it's like so upbeat. No, the chorus is too good. It's so catchy. Yeah, like this? Oh, it's so good. They got the money back. Oh my god, it's not it's not what it's supposed to be. Oh shoot. Okay. I thoroughly enjoy that one. I think that one's my favorite. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know. It's like like I said, I had the underlying R and B sound, but it was still upbeat, but not too upbeat. I don't know. And the chorus is so good. The chorus went so hard. I'm looking for the what, 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 what. And then their dance moves with it. Like, it was just like, everything went so well together. I completely understand why everyone has fallen in love with this group. They're obviously not new because that music video, the Choose One music video came out a year ago. So, they're at least a year old. But people have started talking about them recently. So, they're making their way onto... I guess you could say the global scene. Great right for them. I'm super excited that that's happened because if not, I don't think I ever would have found out about this group. And I'm super excited that I did because I think they're good. Not that they give me the same vibes or remind me of XG, but for me more so it's just like, I need to start listening to J-pop because XG's J-pop. I literally am in love with XG. Psychic Fever is J-pop. I think I just found a new group that I'm legit gonna fall in love with. You know what I mean? Like obviously, I love my K-pop, I love my rap, R&B, you know, I love all music. J-pop was never a genre that I like fully got into. Looks like I'm gonna have to make some changes. Are you kidding? At this point, I haven't heard one bad J-pop group. So I can only imagine the amount of groups that are out there that are probably like dropping bangers that I just have no clue. So I'm kind of upset with myself, but I will de I'm definitely about to start incorporating J-pop into my music genre rotation because I'm like, head over heels for this group i've caught the fever i've caught the psychic fever are you kidding like i feel like there's no way you can listen to these men's voice watch these music videos and like not fall in love with them first of all i don't know who who's the one that i keep saying is cute but that man is so cute i hope he's of age as i'm saying this because that would be bad so if he's not of age he's not cute but if he is he's gorgeous he's probably my favorite in terms of just like visual appearance but in terms of just like honestly I would need to watch the performance videos for me to actually make a distinguish of who I think is my favorite in terms of overall aspect but the one with the the guy with the braids I'm pretty sure he's it seems like he's Japanese and black maybe he had braids and he was rapping I love him his voice oh I don't know his voice is like magical it's so it's like deep but it's got like the tiniest bit of rasp to it oh I don't know it's just something every time he came in I was like wait a second as of right now he is my favorite in terms of just like the sound when it comes to the members of the group but I I am definitely excited for part two when we're gonna watch the performance videos and then I'm gonna look up the group the members all that in the second part so for the ending of this first part let's rank the three music videos i'm putting choose one as my favorite choose one is definitely number one easily a 10 out of 10 that one is my favorite just like that is gonna be number two i'd give that like an 8.5 out of 10 i really like it i think the beat's great i think it's a good hype upbeat dance song i don't know for it felt like a little bit was missing, but maybe it was just because it was the first one that I watched. And after watching all three, it's like, it's good. But just like when I compared to choose one, I'm like, 
you know like nothing's gonna beat choose one in my head at least so i'm gonna give that one like a 8.5 close to a 9 pretty much and then baku baku i actually thought that song was so cute you make my heart go back that was so cute but that one is gonna have to go at three not that i don't like it but in terms of just like after watching the three music videos that is the one that i guess you could say like did it hit as hard but when I watch them all, you know, like during watching the music videos, I fall in love with it easily. But in terms of how I like them or the order I would listen to the songs in, Baku Baku's gotta go third. But I think it's super cute. And I'm easily gonna, I'm gonna give that one an eight because it's a little bit more on the calmer side, which I do thoroughly love and enjoy. But comparing it with Choose One, I just, ugh, I can't, you know, Choose One's like easily a 10 for me. So, Psychic Fever. I definitely have caught the psychic fever. It's probably going to get way worse in part two when I react to the performance videos, but we shall see how that goes. So that is all for this reaction video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can like, comment, subscribe. You can follow all my socials. They'll be linked in the description box below, or you can follow the pop-ups that happen at the very beginning of this video. Do whatever you want to do, and I will see you guys in part two. <laughs> Bye.